Hello, welcome to C Sharp interview question and answer video series. In this video, I will be talking about using keyword in C Sharp and what is fundamental behind I Disposable Interface. Going forward, we will learn what is CLR execution model and we will try to understand what is difference between finalize and dispose method. .NET Framework supports multiple languages. When you compile a project developed in any programming language that is supported by .NET Framework, it gets compiled to intermediate language also termed as MSIL. MSIL stands for Microsoft Intermediate Language. When you run your application, this MSIL code gets converted to the native language with the help of CLR. CLR stands for Common Language Runtime and this is the place where Garbage Collector GC comes into the picture. What is Garbage Collector? Garbage Collector in .NET Framework plays an important role in memory management so that programmer is least worried about the memory management and can focus more on the application functionality. GC, the is garbage collector, is responsible for clearing the managed resources. But there could be a scenario in a project you are dealing with unmanaged resources like opening a file, reading a file or interaction with database. In such scenarios, it is programmer's responsibility to close these unmanaged resources. Garbage Collector does not have any information about clearing the unmanaged resources. Garbage Collector can call Destructor and Destructor in turn call Finalize method to clear the unmanaged resources. Make a note that programmer has no control over when the destruct is called because it is determined by Garbage Collector. So next question is what is difference between Finalize and Dispose method in terms of memory management? The common thing between dispose and finalize is that both are used for clearing the unmanaged resources. The difference is that finalize gets called with the help of garbage collector where dispose can be called by the programmer. Finalize is a bit expensive because it is called by garbage collector. GC maintains separate queue or array where it adds all the object which has finalize method to be implemented. It is always recommended that one should not implement finalize method unless until it is extremely necessary. First priority should always be given to implement dispose method and clean the unmanaged resources as soon as possible when processing is done. Garbage collector has three generations, generation 0, generation 1 and generation 2. Garbage collector gets called periodically and it checks in each of the generation whether the object is in use or not. If object is not in use, it is cleared. Can we call garbage collector explicitly? Answer is yes, but it is not recommended. With the help of gc.collect, you can specify generation here to call the respective generations to be cleared. For demonstration purpose, I have created one class student and I have implemented that from iDisposable interface. An iDisposable interface has one method, dispose method, that I have implemented at the bottom. In the constructor, I can initialize member variables. And just after the constructor, you can see I have implemented the destructor, which gets called by the garbage collector. And in the dispose method, you can write code to release the unmanaged resources. At the bottom, you can see I've used gc.suppressFinalize, which will stop the garbage collector to call finalize method. There are a number of classes which implement iDisposable interface. In upcoming videos where we will be interacting with database, we will come across SQL connection. If you click on this and say go to definition, SQL connection class is sealed and it is implementing from DB connection. Click on this and go to definition. This in turn is implementing the iDisposable interface and iDisposable interface has dispose method. So advantage of dispose method is that you can use using keyword. Say in case of SQL connection, con equal to new SQL connection. As soon as this line of code, line number 22nd, it is traversed, the connection object will be disposed. So can I use using keyword with student? Let's give it a try. As of now, I'm able to do this. Let me get rid of this iDisposable interface implementation. You can see compiler will start throwing the error. A class has to implement iDisposable interface in order to use using statements. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.